Hi guys, in this video we'll be learning about how to create a histogram using Microsoft Excel. So there are multiple ways of doing that and we will start with the most basic yet kind of useless. So just select the data and uh, go to insert and then go to histogram and boom, you have the histogram ready, but it is not very good because uh, it's not very accurate. It's uh, It has chosen its own class intervals, which is like 12 to 36 or 36 to 60, 60 to 84. That is not what we want. We want to have control over the bin sizes. So how will you do that? So first of all, you must know that your data should be in single column. And if it is not, then it won't work at all. So like we have the data in this format, which is like spread across different columns, but it should be converted into a single column. So just copy paste everything in what like one below another so you will have something like this and once you're done with that if you haven't already enabled the excel add-ins now is the time when you will do that so just go to tools and go to excel add-ins and uh, you will be shown different options just in case you don't have these options you can just go to google for search for that you know add-ins for excel and then you will be able to download them and uh, select these and click on ok since we have done that already, we can just go to tools and we can go to data analysis. And over there, you will be shown this uh, histogram option. Click on it. Now, this is the real histogram which we are going to make. And over this, we will have complete control. So input range would be the entire data, which is in single column. So just select everything and uh, you're done with that part. Then bin range. Bin range will come from this frequency distribution table. So this is very important to understand. So class intervals is like 10 to 20, but it is not 20. Actually, it is under 20. So it's like 10 to 19. So 19 is the end point. So which is like the bin. So you can just copy all of these bins over there and uh, don't keep the last one. Uh, because uh, it would be taken care of by the histogram. So, so just select uh, the 4 to 12, 4, 4 to 12. So like this is what we have. And now labels which we want and then output range where the data should be. It should be over here. So this is H25 as you can see. And sorry, uh, we were choosing something wrong. So select bins and then output range. It should be this and click on chart output without this the chart would appear only the table would appear which excel will prepare which will have bins and the frequency now click on ok and uh, you will be shown a brand new histogram so this is the histogram looks like so bins is something which we have taken from this frequency distribution table so just in case you want to keep them in sync this is how you do it so now we have uh, bins and the frequency and the data will match so just change the design of it. Just click on it and uh, go to chart design and you will be shown different ways of presenting it. So we can keep this one. So this is how the histogram looks like with the numbers as well. So we have two, four, seven, four, eight. So two, four, seven, four, eight, three, nine, three, two, three, nine, three, two. So this is absolutely same as the distribution uh, table, which is amazing because this is exactly how we wanted the histogram to be so just in case you want to reduce the gaps between these you can go to uh, format data series and uh, do, 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 and gap width can be reduced to let's say zero percent or even let's say one percent maybe just to keep a bit of gap between these now we have decent gap and uh, this is looking much better than previous one so now the histogram shows us uh, different bin values, but uh, we want to have uh, class intervals instead. So we can keep 10 to 20, 20 to 30 like that. So for that, first of all, use uh, inverted comma and then 10 to 20. And then we have uh, 20 to 30 and so on. So now we are done with the bin values. So these are actually class intervals. So this is how you create a histogram using Microsoft Excel. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you didn't, then leave a comment so that we can improve it further. Do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more. And do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.